what is sous vide? Well, really, it's a fancy preparation way of water and heat to give you the tenderest steak you're ever going to eat in your life. But we don't have the fancy equipment. No, we're going to show you how to do it in an ice chest. Tender meat, so delicious, right here, cowboyed up. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp. The Lord has blessed us with some rain. The grass is green, things is looking good. Cows will get fat again. Sous vide, that is what? It is a French method of cooking and it really, the word stands for under vacuum. It's where you put meat in a vacuum sealed bag and you can put it into a constant temperature water for so long to make the meat more tender. Now, if you really was in one of them fancy places, and this is really not a fancy place, this is my kind of place, it is, you would have a sous vide machine. It's a tank that's maybe this big by this tall that has a heater on it that's gonna you can set the dial to reach to that magical temperature, say 135, and it's got like a oscillator generator, furbulator that just keeps that water in motion all the time. Or you can use what Cowboy Kent Rollins does, and that is a Yeti ice chest in the back of the pickup for a 45 minute drive, and it oscillates on the Oklahoma bumps, it does. It'll get it there. Now, I don't want you to run to the store and get a ribeye. They don't really hold up really well in this. Now, they'll work, but they're sort of gonna fall apart. That spinalis in there, it's all gonna separate. New York Strip is your best buy for the money here. I like to get a 12 or a 14 ounce, and I like to individually sack them. Also, one of my more favorite cuts is it is a sirloin, but it's what we call a faux filet. Certified Angus beef get me on to them things, and hey, them things are so good, but you could put one of them in here when you cry back that, you're taking all the air away from it, but after you season that, it's gonna help that seasoning also penetrate deeper into that meat. So, what are we using? Hey, y'all know what it is. Original seasoning. Now, remember what I've always told you on a steak. So many times people overcook under season so we're going to season it up well when you get this thing cry vacuumed, we're going to have to let this come to a room temp before we put it into the water that way we're not losing our temperature of our water we've got one of these bags that we're going to put it in and you need a vacuum sealer you do because you can't just place this in 135 degree water just like this we're not boiling meat no we warming that meat to a constant temperature but i don't did you not put a plug in in here when we redone the wagon you didn't, did you? Come on, I got one up here. Come on, just follow me up here. First, we got to seal the bag. You already have it hooked up? Uh-huh. Oh, where's it hooked up to? Right here in this little deal where it says 115 volts. I didn't uh -huh. know that was there. Yes, we have all the comforts. Terry Graven up there at the Dodge Place. He'll take care of you and get you some of them, what you call it. But okay, guess what? I think the pickup has to be on. There you go. Sealed up, cry and all it is. But say you ain't got one of them fancy machines, but I bet you got a, one of them freezer bags at home. You do. Now dig around in another drawer. You're going to find a pretty good straw. And you're gonna take that bag, go ahead and put your meat in there, slip that straw into one corner and take your hand and keep mashing, try to get that air out of it and seal as you go along. And right there at the corner, before you get to the straw, if there's still a lot of air, take this other hand and go to mashing up here to where you can roll it out. And if you have to do nothing else, get some of that air out. Just get it out there, seal it up, you're ready to go. Now we don't have one of them fancy sous vide machines out here at the wagon we do, but we got something I think is even better. What is it? Yeti ice chest. Now, folks, you got to have something that's going to keep that constant temperature of that water what we need. And I want to show you why these are so great. You see this seal? This is sort of like a refrigerator seal on your refrigerator at home. And when you snap that thing down, hey, it will last a long time. It will. That water will stay so hot. But just to be clear, Yeti is not sponsoring this video. But I am an ambassador for, their, for the Yeti people. And I believe in their products. I've took it on ranches. I've had cowboys drop it off trailers. It gets pitched out of pickups. Folks, this stuff will last. But also, the reason I really like it, you can keep coffee in there, keep it hot for a long time. It's got a spigot right there on the bottom. Cold or hot, it's gonna last. Now, whatever you're using, make sure that it's gonna provide you that great seal that you need when you shut that lid and snap it down. 
but folks we've got to keep that temperature constant for at least two hours we do now if you'll stick around plumb throughout this video guess what's going to happen we're going to give away a yeti we are i took me some water about oh i'd say maybe four cups and i heated it to about 150 160 degrees and poured it in there to what pre-warm that cooler then I'm going to dump that out. I'm going to heat me some water on the stove top or on Obertha till it gets an even 140 degrees. When it is that, turn that fire off, dump it in here, drop that bag of steak down in there, seal that lid up. So we have heated our water. It is 140. It is in the water it goes. Water is to here. If Shannon come up here, she can see how that steak is fully submerged. Now you could get three or four in there, and as long as they're at room temperature, you're not going to change your water temp. But folks, if you're doing a lot more than that, get you a couple of coolers because you're going to need that. Make sure you let it set what? Two hours. We're going to let that internal temperature come up to where it's just right. Throw it on some heat. Magic will happen. hours by the sun it has been let me show you something that's going on here and folks we are still at 135 degree water and I want to see that when you pull that out of there you can see how that has changed colors some of that juice has come out of there just right if you're gonna grill this I need you to have a really really hot fire and I need that fire really close to them grates when you lay that steak on there because folks it is cooked to the inside temperature we want we just got to give it the color on the outside it is quick gonna happen fast but we ain't gonna grill it. No, we gonna torch it. Yes, we are. Join me right over here. I'm gonna tell you right now, I do love me some fire. But I love a lot of fire, I do. done deal it is ain't no firewood in there i didn't get hot i think it's pretty simple now i'm gonna tell you something they do make them small pro propane torches that just got that little handle to where you can do this you can do it on on patio furniture if you don't get caught just hold it up with your tongue do it there but folks i just want you to be able to cook this steak and do it this way because it is some fine dining now even though we cooked it in about maybe two minutes total I want you to let it rest just like any other good steak that we've always cooked. Let it rest three to four minutes before we ever slice it. And then you just take that knife and then you just let it just coast right through there. And then you just pull it apart right here. And folks, I would say that looks pretty good. I can't see it for the glare off the chuck box lid, Shen. So what color is it? Is it about it's right? about medium. About medium. So folks, we got a little overboard here when we got the wagon set up and everything took us a little while. We was about two and a half hours before we got to actually cook this. And two hours is what you're after. Well, I had some really good help I did today. There's one. I think there was four of them present. There's four little bites. Hey, who likes beef? Anybody like beef? Duker, where are you at? You get to be first today, Duker. There you go, buddy. Big, little mage. You and come get Sadie one. Mage, you done stole the majors. So I'll have to get Sadie another one. Say, come on, girl. Come on. You get a bite, too. There we go. Everybody got steak but the cowboy, but the cowboy's finna have him some. Mm-hmm. If Shan will get in here, you can see that good moisture that's in there. That sous vide helps create that by penetrating that seasoning to get it deeper and deeper in there. And folks, I want to tell you something about our seasoning too. We're not masking the flavor of meat. We're enhancing the flavor when we put this on there. But if you start with some really good beef, certified Angus beef, you're just going to end up with something better every time. 
But one thing I'll tell you, if you're grilling this and you'd like to have that little smoke flavor that goes with it, like I say, raise that fire up there so you can get it good and hot in a hurry. Melt in your mouth just like popcorn and butter. It does. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. Made me want to do cod and Joe. Oh. Ooh. I'm a, mm, mm. I got me some beef to go. I'm going to have another bite, Jen. And people was on me all last week that you never get a bite. I don't care if you're on the camera, not on the camera. Thank you're going to you. have a bite. Uh-huh. Now, don't forget, we had that Yeti giveaway. Now, just like that one right over there. It'll be the best water cooler, coffee keeper, sous vide machine you ever had in your life. And to enter this contest, all you got to do is comment on this video. Right under the video, you just comment. Be sure and give it a like, but I want you to go ahead and comment and say, Hey, I really like my steak rare. No, I really like my steak medium rare. No, I like my steak medium. If you say you like it well, you probably ain't got a chance of winning. Folks, remember what I tell you. Don't go past medium rare, okay? Now, we'll reveal the winner a week from today, we will. Be sure and check your comment right there that you left because that's how we're going to contact you if you have won the Yeti. I'd like to give a little shout out to my good friend Chef Michael and all the folks at Certified Angus Beef up there in Wooster for always answering any questions I might have pertaining to fancy cooking, Michael. Yes, fancy cooking. So hey, this is a great way for you to get started and really cook some good meat for the summer. But a big tip of the hat and thank you to my good friends at Yeti. I'm proud to be an ambassador for their product. But tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp no matter where we at for the rest of you hey come on in here it is time for a great big hug and guess what i'm going to speak a little french la 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 come on down to the sous vide trail with the cowboy god bless y'all i've never used it i don't know where you'll go from there i also want to say happy father's day to all them fathers out there i do 